Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for today's session. So today's a little bit different because we are gonna be doing some morning journaling. Something I'm just getting into more recently, I'm trying to bring into my life and I wanted to share with you um, some of the prompts, some of the ways I journal each morning um, because I'm really starting to enjoy it and I'm really kind of finding it beneficial. So I thought I would share it with you as well. So all you need today is some paper or a notepad or something that you can write your journal thoughts in. Always a nice um, opportunity to get yourself a nice new journal if you haven't got one already um, because if you're like me, new stationery makes you excited. So get a journal or if it's just a piece of paper, that is cool as well. And just find somewhere comfortable. Hopefully you have a bit, a bit of peace and quiet. Maybe you have a cup of tea or coffee, um, but get yourself comfortable and we will get started with our morning journaling. Okay, so we're going to just start with a very simple check-in. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling? That might be physically, mentally, emotionally, just a couple of words or sentences on how you're feeling. And throughout this session, if you need any longer, of course, just pause me and come back to me at any time. Okay, so hopefully you've had a few moments just to ask yourself that question. So the next question or journal prompt that I like to use is, what is something that you are looking forward to today? So that can be anything. It can be simple. It can be complex. Just a couple of words, maybe a sentence on what you are looking forward to most today. Okay, so the next prompt that I like to use is what are one to three things that I could do today to bring me joy? And what are one to three things that I could do today to bring joy to others? Of course, it can be as many as you like, but just jot down a few things for yourself and for others. Okay, hopefully you've thought of a few. Of course, if you need any more time, just pause me. Um, so the next one is, what can I do today to make my goal or goals a little bit easier? So a couple of examples um, that I've used the last few weeks is I have a goal of reading um, 15 books this year. So one of my goals might be today I will take 10 minutes to read a chapter of my book. Of course, it can be absolutely anything, but just write down something that might help you reach your goals or take a little bit of step towards your goals.
Okay, hopefully you've done with that one. So the fifth and final one, which I'm going to share with you today is a daily affirmation. So this can be a sentence or a word or anything at all that you want to take with you through the rest of the day, maybe the week. And it can be something as simple as I aim to stay present. Or of course, it can be as big and as complex as you like it. But just jot down a word or a sentence or something that resonates with you um, that you can take with you throughout the rest of the day. Okay, so hopefully you have had time to do that. I will share with you my affirmation. Today I've chosen I am grounded because I've been feeling a little bit here, there and everywhere and I would just really like to bring myself back into the moment today and try to stay as grounded as possible. Um, But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that session. These are, of course, just five prompts. You can do as many as you like. You can just do one or two or whatever works and resonates with you. And you can switch them up any time, but try it. Try it for the week. See how you get on doing it every morning. See if you find any benefits um, to yourself, to your mental health, to your well-being. And um, let me know in the comments below how you did get on. And if you enjoyed this session, maybe I can do some future videos similar. Um, But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you uh, next week for another video.